Hi guys, um, <clears throat> it's been a few weeks, I think actually a month probably since my last video. Um, I have <laughs> been having an absolute mare with my bathroom. Um, so I haven't been living at home for the last month, I've been at the in-laws um, because we ripped our bathroom out. But the flip side is, I've taken my record cleaner out there and I've been sitting in the evenings cleaning records and it's been good because I've got so much more done um, than the old way that I used to clean up. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll crack on. Um, vinyl. Um, I'm not sure whether I showed this in my last video. I don't think I did. Um, the new Chemical Brothers album. Um, I've given this a couple of spins now. It's the first Chemical Brothers album I've been disappointed with. Um, not, it's not saying that it's bad by any stretch, it's not. But I think it's one of those situations where generally their output is of such a high, high level um, that I was maybe expecting too much from it. Um, it's still good, but um, I think not as good as um, I possibly built it up to be. Um, picked up another copy of this. Um, I got. I traded a copy of this actually a long time ago with um, the crazy fools that were Cool Ranch dressing. Um, but this is uh, the decal reissue. It's nothing too special, but it's another one of that label um, that I wanted to get. Um, so I now have a, I have two copies of this. So um, yeah, I might trade the other one or something. Um, so that's really cool. I've got that. I got that pretty cheap as well, actually, considering. Um, this I got cheap as well. I'd started picking these up just um, if I see them for the right price. Um, this is Jacques Cursil with uh, Black Sweet. Um, it's another one that Actuel label. I listened to this and I think this is probably too free for me. Um, but it's still a nice, nice original pressing, um, and it was it was cheap for what it is, I think. Um, but yeah, I wasn't overly stricken with it. Uh, the second side was much better, I think, than the first side. Um, I picked up um, yet another copy of Forever Changes. Uh, I think this is probably my third um, third copy of this. Um, I'm not quite sure what pressing this is because it's the laminated sleeve, but then it's it's not the original biggie. I don't know. It seems slightly smaller, so I don't know whether this is. Um, slightly later I've not really looked into it to be honest because like I said it's been at home and I haven't um, but it's certainly better than um, the butterfly pressing that I have um, at the moment um, and these laminated sleeves are nice um, it's a bit worn a bit worn on the spine um, but uh, another one um, really really happy to have. Um, now there was also uh, a record fair yesterday um, which, oh actually before I go on to that I picked this up as well, I forgot about this. This is the latest um, Bowie, Bowie 7 inch picture disc to come out. Um, this is Fame. Um, 
I think there's two more in the pipeline. Um, I can't remember which Space Oddity is the first one. I think maybe Golden Years. Uh, there's one after that that will be coming out, I think, next month. Um, or possibly even the end of this month now. Um, so that's the next in that. I don't know how many of those they're going to do, but I'm kind of in too deep now. So I just have to have to keep picking them up. Um, but like I said, there was a record fair yesterday, which um, I only found out about a couple of days ago. Um, otherwise, I would have... But it seemed to just be really one or two guys that were selling. Um, and I'd already trawled this stuff anyway. He was the guy that I bought. Um, that all those craft work and things off, although I ended up giving some of the craft works back because they were so scratched. Um, but anyway, he was selling a load of stuff, plus uh, my old boss had um, some crates of things. Um, so I went there, I was working that day, so I snuck out of work um, and had a quick rummage through um, and picked this up. Um, Grateful Dead. Um, Dead Set. This is a double album from 74, I want to say. Uh, 81. Actually, it's much later than I thought. Um, yeah. So, it was quite cool. And it was, what, 5 five ninety nine, six ninety nine, five ninety nine. 5 99 I think it was. Yeah. Um, it's got these old import stickers on it, um, but cool for that price. I'm not going to complain. It's not an album I've heard, so another one to go with the Grateful Dead collection. Um, and also, I picked up um, a CD of Iron Butterfly, um, which I have on vinyl. But this has been great. I listened to it in the car, so it was cool. Um, and then after I finished work, I went back to have a kind of more substantial rummage um, to see if there's anything I could pick up. And um, yep, yeah, there's a few things. Um, first one, which I was quite pleased to find, um, was this, which is the association um, called Insight Insight Out. Um, this I think was their second album. Third. Um, anyway, I had one of their albums before. I had um, Birthday, which is a cool album, and I think this was the album that came out before it. Um, it's got a seam sp split, but well, not split, it's just come unstuck, so it'll be easy enough to fix. And it was pretty dirty, but um, it's actually cleaned up. I cleaned it last night, and it's cleaned up really well. Um, so that's cool. Um, and I picked up um, Stevie Wonder uh, fulfilling this first uh, first finale. Um, this is in really nice condition. It was two pound fifty or something, I think. So uh, I was pleased to get that. And then underneath the counter, there was kind of crates, and he said everything was a pound um, in them. So uh, I picked this up. Um, Spencer Davis group and this was really manky disc wise um, both seams have come unstuck um, but I've cleaned it and it's cleaned really nicely um, I cleaned it twice in fact and that's how dirty it was um, and uh, yeah this will be cool I quite like listening to Spencer Davis from time to time um, and that's on Ireland um, it's in the Palm tree, palm tree label. That was a pound, so I'm not going to complain. Um, and Prince album for a pound as well. Um, this one is uh, can't remember around the world in a around the world in a day. Um, my main reason for getting this is because I love the song Raspberry ba Raspberry Beret, uh, which I think is great. Um, and I don't have much prints. I think I've got a couple of albums. Um, so this is cool. And um, I picked up another CD as well, um, 
which I have on vinyl, but again, great for listening to in the car. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, oh, another CD actually I found in a charity shop a while back. Um, I found a whole bunch of jazz CDs, um, which I don't think I showed. I'll maybe just grab them if you bear with me a second. A whole bunch of stuff. Um, Winter Marsalis, um, Blood on the Fields, um, Not Heard, not listened to that one yet. Um, John Coltrane's Blue Train, Gil Evans, The Complete Pacific Jazz se Sessions, uh, John McLaughlin, The Heart of Things, um, A Verve compilation. Um, Milt Jackson and John Coltrane um, Bags and Trains Bags and Trains um, Johnny Hodges Everybody Knows um, The Great Kai and JJ uh, Chico Hamilton The Dealer Uh, Blossom Deary. Um, I, I literally I just grabbed all the Verve and um, Impulse things that I saw. Um, Oscar Peterson, uh, The Sound of the Trio. But there must have been 100, 150 jazz albums there. Um, but a lot of it was more kind of trad jazz. Um, Alcone and Zoot Sims. Um, you and me. Uh, Thelonious Monk, Monk's Blues. And Oscar Peterson's, Peterson's Soul Espanol. Um, and this one. Um, Roland Kirk, We Free Kings, which I've been listening to and awful lot in the car recently and this is um i think rapidly becoming my favorite jazz album um the first track uh three for the festival um is fantastic um the title track we free free kings is brilliant um it's, it's just all it's just all really good um but he strikes me as somebody that doesn't necessarily take himself too seriously. Um, and the kind of solo, I think, in um, Free for the Festival, um, you can actually hear the effort that he's putting in to playing it, which I really, really enjoy. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend this. Um, I would like to get a copy of this on vinyl at some point, because um, this is great. I actually thought he was going to be a lot more free, than he actually is um, when you see him playing two saxophones and things you think mm, but this is really good so anyway um, that's coming on 15 minutes I like to keep them below 15 if I can so um, I'll hopefully be a lot more involved and uh, yeah take care